you, you, you are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Let's discover hard couple months, but it's this, 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 this is nothing you can know what's up in the hood. Couple of my friends, you know, on their way to my house, they uh they saw this bounty house from a different party, and they announced it to the party in my basement. They're like, hey, you know, there's a bounty house down the street. All these kids just walked out of my basement, and we went to the bounty house to go check it out. So uh, a few kids got in there and you know started bouncing around, and and the owners walked out, and they. They realize there's a whole bunch of kids just bouncing in their bouncy house that don't that aren't at their party. So you know they they went to they went to these kids and they were about to yell at them. And so I I got in between and I was like, hey, you know, a reasonable mistake the kids made. They were just trying to have a good time. And uh, before it escalated, we me and a couple of the kids decided that it was best to just you know sprint away from that situation back to the house. And so there's a really artistic photo of us running away from the house with a bouncy house in the background. We were eating tacos and just underneath this tent with the rain behind us. And we just stood out there for a couple hours, just, you know, munching on some tacos, you know, a couple of marshmallows underneath this fire. We went back to the basement and we just stood up the whole night playing Mario soccer. We decided to sit down and watch some TV, but uh, since we were up like for almost 24 hours, uh, we all almost fell asleep watching TV. So after that, we decided to call it a day, and uh, we went our separate ways that evening. They have these things called logs. You get one for not following the rules. Like if you don't have the right color undershirt, you get a log. You're chewing gum, you get a log. Wrong type of shoes, you get a log. You don't have a belt, you get a log. And I just took advantage of all of that stuff. And one time, Mr. Ryan told me to, like, what am I doing? Why do I have all these logs? And I'm like, I don't know. I have enough logs to make a log cabin. And he just gave me another Saturday. So at my, my old school, there's these kids who played that Yu-Gi-Oh card game. And, and I found, like, cards in the cafeteria someone left behind. I took them. And I asked around, like, who, were, who was this? Like, nobody knew who they were. So I just kept them. And then my friend was like, hey, I buy those off of you. I'm like, uh. At first, I was like, I don't know. But then I was like, screw it. He gave me 20 bucks for them. And then like someone snitched on me and said that I stole them from this one kid. So I got suspended for like two days. And and then after complaining with the dean and arguing with them, he ended up giving me another Saturday. I forgot why he gave me another Saturday, but I was just so mad. Uh, the day I went to the classroom after lunch, instead of finishing my, f instead of throwing away my food, I finished it and I got another Saturday. During Saturdays in the cafeteria, there's these pillars. If you sit behind them, you get like the, the whole day just to relax and chill because you're supposed to be doing work the whole time. And then I always went for the pillars, but the deans always knew that I just didn't do anything behind them. So they always had an assigned seat for me right in front of them. And then that was really bad because I just kept messing with them and then I just kept getting more Saturdays. Hey, what you got there? My new truck. 
Give me that. Are you that low life family that lives in a little quarter? I'm not a low life. Connor, like you, does not deserve things like this. No! Should leave. Yeah, me too. I'm getting tired of running. Ha, huh. yeah, running for your short little life. Please don't start. I'm being serious. Can we please just leave? Is anybody flat? Just leave now. Who is there? Who said that? Your worst nightmare. Man, I think we should make like that hand and grab and go. What are you first doing down here? We fail. Well, you guys should back up. Why? We want to live forever like you. Why? I am alone, old, and moldy. Yeah, and you smell bad too. Come on, man. Give him a break. I don't mind. I would have rather gotten eaten than be here alone. What do you mean? I ran off because I was scared and now I'm alone. Oh, so I guess it's best for me to follow my life destiny? Yes, it is. I'll never get the chance to get eaten. I don't want you to make the same mistake I made. Guys, I think it's better for us to go out together. Yeah, me too. I guess. Just put me at the bottom. I'm not afraid of anything. Let's do this. Someone can I take you out? I can't. Why? Because my parents would freak. Oh.
bother at you Take you to the dollar menu Buy you a McChicken With some fries and sauce for dipping Then we can stroll in the park Since I don't have no car Lose track of time And stare at the stars On our cheap day What are we gonna do On a heck of cheap day You tell me Cause I don't have no money I just want to be your one and only, only. And sure, I don't got much, but baby, I got love. What more can I say? You take my breath away. Though people say you can do much better. We can last forever on love alone. Let's go on a cheap day. What we gonna do on a heck of cheap day? You tell me cause I don't have no money I just wanna be your one and only Only And you don't gotta choose me If money makes you happy Just know my heart is made out of gold And you'll know If you just go with me on a cheap day What we gonna do on a heck of cheap day You tell me cause I don't have no money I just wanna be your one and only Only when I was about seven and a half, me and my cousins used to do a lot of crazy stuff. We ran, we played soccer, we blew up stuff. We found an empty watermelon shell. We filled it up with fireworks and we got a toy car. Found it on the street, put new batteries in. We laid it up, covered the top. Ten seconds later, The car and the waterman blew up. Toy truck went up in the air, and when it was coming down, a fast moving truck hit the car. We ran till the end of the street, we still ran. And we went to the park. So we played soccer at the end. Lego City, a very corrupt city, a very sad city. The problems still soon. An alien was spotted stealing around north and western. Meanwhile, another alien was seen in pursuit by police around the Bucktown neighborhood. Mirror. Stay alert, citizens of Lego City. You may been hearing the news about all these aliens recently? <laughs> I don't know why everyone calls them aliens. We call them aliens because they just don't belong here. There seems to be a car chase occurring in the Logan Square neighborhood. It seems that an alien and an artist Lego civilian were involved. Oh my god. So what's your heart? What's your heart? What looks you all? What happened? He crashed into me. He crashed into me. So my one son's got to go to jail. He crashed into me. He crashed into me. No, he crashed into me. My bike is right there. Someone is going to have to go to jail. And I think it's the guy in black. What? Oh.
we shouldn't have to suffer this way. So what's your heart? What's your heart? What lifts you off? I mean, what type of the type of that gets you off? It gets you off. Shut up, Red Ranger. Stop bragging, and besides, it's ours. Uh-uh. I want this kill by myself. As mayor of our fine city, I'd like to present to you the key to the city. Yeah. I said, shut up. Ciao. Wow. Yeah. 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 Stop. We are a team. We fight together, live together, and win together. Now you two are fighting. You guys need to stop so we can get out there, put our helmets on, and score a touchdown for the team. What are you talking about? Did you just steal that from the longest yard? No. Anyway, we're a team, and it's up to us to protect the world and remember little Timmy. Who is little Timmy? Shh. It's getting good. Thanks, Red Ranger. Now, Black Ranger. I want you to shake hands with Red Ranger and make up, because there's no I in team, and no me in winner. Now let's go home and get ready to save the city as a team. <laughs> it all started in freshman year when I was walking down the hallway. A boy stuck his foot out and tripped me. I fell to the ground and hit my head on the floor. I got up, dust myself off, and everybody turned around and laughed at me. As I was running to the washroom, everybody was pointing and laughing at me and calling me all types of names. They called me goofy, they called me retarded, and they said that I was slow because I had tripped over the boy's foot. It kept going on. Until the last day, the boy tried to trip me, but instead of him tripping me, I had reversed it and I made him fall to the ground. He looked at me and I said, it's not funny when you trip somebody now. And everybody turned around and they started to laugh at him. They started to call him names. And the boy ran off to the washroom and he didn't ever come out until the period was over.